I've got a bunch more soaps to show from this wonderful company, uh, Just Bobbly, out of New York State. Extraordinary idea. Particularly the interesting ones are the um, ones which show the elements of the periodic table. There's about 115, 120 elements now, I think. Most, many of the top ones are all artificial ones. And she's managed to make good quality soap copies of about uh, 40 of them, she says. And she sent me samples of them. So sulfur, which is yellow, that's good. And um, copper is a copper colour, but krypton's a gas, so, well, that's pretense. That's my favourite one, radium, because in the dark, it's, it's the only one of those that's luminous. It shines a lovely, lovely blue colour. But look at this one here. Look at this bit of nonsense. Oh, this is her with her tongue firmly in the cheek. She's invented a thing called the element of surprise. It's number 122, which is way above uh, the periodic table's top one, I think it is. And she just makes it a bit of fun. And it's luminous, incidentally. So it's, and it's a large, full-size bar. The other ones are small bars. And gives it a number, AH for R. So... A little bit of um, tongue in the cheek fun, and she puts it into a nice packaging, which I like the packaging for it as well. But these soaps are excellent little things for bars and for little presents. Each of them contains the um, the number on the periodic table, which is the top number, number six, six, 16. See if we can get it into focus. Whoa, um, come back again. There we are. And then the bottom number, which is 32 point, uh, that would be the atomic weight or atomic mass. Which should be, that's the number of um, protons in it, which gives you most of its chemistry. And this will be the extra number higher, will be lots of neutrons in it as well. So, and the coppers, again, it's, she tries to keep it accurate as she can. Of course, e each of these has isotopes, so they will have other versions of, of them with other different numbers of neutrons in it. That's the copper one. And the krypton is a gas, one of the inert gases, I think. But anyway, she's given it the right number of figures on it, that's the main thing. So, but my, still my favourite one is radium, it's such a nice one, we're thinking about getting this as a Christmas pack, because the glow it makes in the dark is just stunning. It's a kind of stuff called um, luminescent zinc, zinc sulphide, which creates the effect apparently, so wonderful. But look what else she produced. The ones that my sister-in-law's, two of them, <coughs> and one of my nieces like, are these ones here, soaps, which are flowers, and they're beautifully made. And one of my sister-in-law says it's the best type of... Um, kind of sort of soap for her skin she's ever had. So but that makes a very, very nice present to give people. I gave several of these away along with Easter eggs as well over Easter period to, to the family. Good ones. The last one to show is this one here, which is really for children, I suppose. It's um it's uh, a spaceship, you know, and it's one of those. It, it, the back, back bit's flat, but never mind. But the front bit's front, it's a flaying flying saucer. There's the alien inside, which has got a clear soap. And you can see the back of the alien. If I turn it around, I'll see if I can get that into focus. There's a little, I think probably a plastic figure inside, which the child will come to when it's done enough soaping and bathing itself. It'll, it'll be a little extra surprise. Like sometimes you get little um, frogs inside, princess type shapes whatever it is, soaps. But that's a, a very, very nice little thing for a kid to play with in the bath and then to recover the little the little spaceman, the little alien inside. So it's some very inventive stuff. This lady I've been ooh, having several chats with over the year, over the last few months. And um, I sent her a list of all my fun soaps, which I've been showing on our, on our, our YouTube channel. Uh, and the one she really likes, which she hasn't seen before, was that 40-year-old Japanese one, which is a striptease soap. She wants to make a very a, 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 a sensible version of it, not, not rude or anything like that. But there's some very, very clever uh, um, operations needed to create layers of soap that come off cleanly, and each with a printed picture. So she's working on that. And if it works, wow, I'd love to get that for our website. So, soapy time ahead, and I'm going to enjoy all these. <laughs> Keep very clean. <laughs>